Hi guys, Every Knife Guy here and this evening we have a very cool product that I was sent to show off to you guys and uh, which I'm very proud to be carrying at the moment I've carried for the last week or so since I received it and I'm really really enjoying and um, genuinely very pleased to be able to show you guys and bring to your attention this is a minimalist wallet and you'll know if you've been following my EDC over the last year or so I have gradually downscaled from a trifold wallet to a bifold and finally to a minimalist. I've carried a few Armatus Carry Kydex wallets in the last few months and really, really enjoyed them. They're fairly similar size to this, fairly similar thickness. And I've managed to pare down my EDC to that kind of uh, sweet spot of between six and 10 cards and a couple of bills. And that's about it. And I found that all the junk that I used to carry in my wallet, I don't really need that much after all, um, despite what I thought. And a minimalist wallet of this kind of proportions really works well because it allows me to carry all sorts of other junk. Which, if you're into EDC, of course, you can never have enough space for knives and multi-tools and flashlights and pens and all the other stuff that we think we need or that we do occasionally need. So, minimalist wallet is definitely the way forward for me. And, um, yeah, so this was sent to me recently. This is from uh, Offenmere Leather Co. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll show you this uh, canvas, little nice little canvas bag it comes in. The logo there and I'll show you that so you can see the Instagram, Facebook and Twitter handle Often Mere Leather and a quick Google of Often Mere uh, which was a term I wasn't really familiar with um, I think that is German for open seas and the reason it's for open seas is these are made by uh, one Michael Bluth who is an active sailor in the US Navy so he's a serviceman but also doing some very very nice custom leather work on the side and there's the handle again on this little uh, embossed leather card which comes in the inside the wallet actually in the bag. So first impressions are awesome. Packaging really, really nice. It's some very high quality leather. Uh, and when Michael contacted me to see if I wanted to review one of these wallets and show it off on the channel, he was very gracious and gave me the choice of what finish I wanted. And I looked through a few pictures on his Instagram. I will actually uh, do a screencast of his Instagram later on so you can see some of his other work and you can uh, make it easier for you to follow them if you wish. Uh, so I looked through some pictures and I really liked the kind of the mid-tone leathers uh, rather than this darker kind of chocolate colour. I like the mid-tone uh, dark tans, uh, horwings, and um, and he had one that had this kind of, I think it was an emerald stitching, he called it. And this is the only stitch section on this whole wallet. It's a very simple design but very effective and this emerald stitching I think looks absolutely awesome with this tone of leather. So. Uh, first impressions I say are fantastic. This wallet, believe it or not, is currently loaded out with everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can see how small it is there. Um, I'm going to empty it in a minute to show you off the inside, but uh, to show you off, to show off the inside to you. Um, but in a loaded, um, loaded with what I use day-to-day, -day, you can see there, this is a double uh, Duracell here. You can see, for size comparison, really not much thicker than that. And in here I have about, uh, well we'll go through it in a second, I think I have about six or seven cards, a few bills and a piece of paper. So everything I carry at the moment day to day and uh, yeah, we can dispense with that for now. So the design is very simple, just one folded piece of leather, uh, the stitching down here to secure things and you just have this main flap that simply tucks in there. I'm going to try and show you what I have in here without revealing too much personal information and then I'll empty it out and show you in its... Uh, Kind of empty manifestation so just this one flap and so it's not truly a one-handed wallet in the way that some minimalist wallets are but it is very simple to tuck or untuck that flap and once that's in there this is nicely folded without being creased uh, once that's in there it's pretty secure there's definitely nothing coming out of there um, and once that's in your pocket of course everything's held together nicely and uh, yeah pretty cool design so a lot of minimalist wallets of course have a cash strap or a clip involved so that your cash is actually on the outside. With this, it's very much up to you where you keep it inside, but it's a little bit more secure. It's not going to fall off or um, get pulled out by, you know, when you take your wallet in or out your pocket, anything like that. So everything is contained inside, which is very nice. So you can see here, um, I'm just going to uh, show you, first of all, how it's set up. So you have the outer flap here, you have a middle piece, and then you have your inner main compartment. So the way I have it set up is I have some kind of using cash here, I have a couple of bills there, uh, the card that I use most often in that sort of middle section. So you can, you have the option to kind of divide up your carry 
Um, so you can have maybe a couple of cards here, the ones that you use most often, or some bills if you if you're into the the traditional money um, type of type of action. And inside, I have one, two, three, four, about another five cards, uh, kind of an emergency piece of paper, just blank lined paper um, for taking notes if I don't happen to have a notebook on me, but I do have a pen, which is usually in my pocket. And I also have my emergency 20 note at the back there. So um, what I need for my day to day, a couple of credit cards, a couple of bank cards, air miles, all that sort of, that sort of stuff. So everything that I had in my in my Armitus carry wallets that I've been using recently is in there. And as I say, even though it's quite nice, uh, you know, thick, uh, thick grade of leather, I guess you would say, um, it takes up pretty small space. So very impressed with the profile of it. I'm going to pause the video and empty this out so I can show you the inside a little bit better. Okay, so that's me emptied all the personal information out and you can see it's actually really not much different empty or loaded up. Um, still that very thin profile. There it is with the with the battery again, if it'll focus a little bit thinner. But um, yeah, definitely you don't notice a lot of bulk is what I'm trying to get at. So you open the main flap, you have this outer piece here which is really just for securing the main flap over. You have the middle bit where I guess you can have your kind of quick access cards or money. And in the back you have the main compartment, again with that lovely um, stamped in uh, logo there for Off the Leather. Uh, started in 2015 I believe. And then you just have your main flap and it's as simple as that, just that one row of stitching. Um, and as I say, Michael does all sorts of different uh, types and shades of leather uh, from very white to very dark, um, very dark kind of tanned leather and also different types of stitching. So you have a lot of customization options and just a really nice product, um, very individual and this is going to burnish up really really nicely and get a lovely patina on it with pocket carry and being used day to day and certainly this is instantly taken over for me as my day to day wallet. I've been looking for something that's minimalist and leather for a long time and um, you know I'm still kind of attracted to that traditional leather wallet but uh, never really found anything that great and wasn't really aware of Michael's work until he contacted me and saw this and you know it was a no-brainer for me this is exactly what I'm into so really really nice product I think we'll pause there for a second and I'll show you his Instagram so you can see what else he's been doing and uh, we'll come back and look at this just at the end okay so here is Michael's Instagram page you can see at the top there it's instagram.com slash often Amir leather is his handle and um, we'll scroll through a little bit here you can see there First picture is a couple of gun deck minimalist wallets in some different finishes. I really like that one on the left with the red stitching, that's really nice. Uh, but he also does some bigger stuff like that satchel bag in the middle. And I'll scroll down a little bit because there's one that particularly stood out to me as just being really well crafted. Uh, I've got some bracelets and stuff here. Uh, do an Instagram on um, Firefox here, so bear with me so I can do the landscape mode. Uh, there's my very own post on Instagram. Um, uh, everyday knife guys you can see at the bottom there he reposted that for me thank you very much and if we come down here a little bit you can start to see a lot of different stuff and likes of this satchel bag here um, or I guess it's more like a day planner bag uh, jewel book cover he's calling it uh, very nice really lovely leather materials and looks really high quality stitching very well put together and um, sometimes if you look through custom leather makers on Instagram and things like that, uh, their smaller things look good. But when it comes to bigger pieces like this, it kind of goes apart a little bit. Um, but just look at that, that's a gorgeous bag. Um, not something I'd ever see myself rocking, but uh, very, very cool work. And um, yeah, just worth checking out his Instagram and also Facebook and stuff. And uh, see, uh, follow him and see what he comes up with. And a very nice belt there too. So it's not just it's not just wallets. That's what I'm getting at. Um, doing some really cool work, and definitely worth a follow. Okay, so just to conclude, guys, um, if you're in the market for a leather wallet and you fancy going smaller to minimalist, or you already have a minimalist wallet and know that's a good size for you, then you really could do a lot worse than this. It's just a a really beautiful product. It's got a lovely tactile feel to it. There's obviously a lot of care and attention to detail and craftsmanship goes into these. Um, and uh, yeah, just a really, really nice uh, product to own. And I think it's probably something you own and will only get better with time and age 
as leather tends to do. So can't really recommend this highly enough. Do check out uh, Michael's uh, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook if you feel the need. Offenmere Leather, and uh, if you go to offenmereleather.com, that will actually redirect you to his Instagram store where you can buy these and other products. And these, I think, are about $45 US for these Gundek minimalist wallets. And I think that's pretty pretty darn reasonable considering the quality of the leather being used and also the craftsmanship. And uh, just the general presentation of it is really, really high grade and uh, very, very nice overall package. He actually does a stitchless version of this as well, which just has a strap over the front. So go check that out. And if you even if you uh, go to Etsy and search for Offenmere Leather, his store will come up as well. But if you go to offenmereleather.com, it'll take you straight to it. So... There it is guys, that's the Gundek wallet from Offenmere Leather and uh, yeah, beautiful little product and thank you very much Michael for uh, sending that to me and letting me show it off on the channel. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. So hope you enjoyed it guys and uh, back more videos soon. Cheers.